Hey Stampers, welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey, part of the Stamp and Jill creative team. Today I'm excited to share with you a stamp set and punch that are in the annual catalog. This is the Submarine Life stamp set and the cute little submarine punch that coordinates. So much fun. So a few weeks ago, we had a little stamp class and we did it with some kids. It was really a fun idea. We invited some kids over to um, learn how to use this stamp set and to make a few cards and projects together. So I wanted to show you the cards and projects that we made and then make one of them with you so you could kind of see what we did. So the projects were these cute floating by to say hi. So cute. Happy birthday. You are sublime. And hello. And this one, we actually gave them some little Swedish fish that they could put down in here with their submarine. So cute. So the one I wanted to focus on is this floating by just to say hi. It's a little bit different than um, a typical submarine. We flipped it upside down and it became a blimp that was floating in the sky. So I wanted to make that card with you. So we used the Bright Skies dies. <laughs> Bright Skies dies, that's kind of a tongue twister. But we used those, they have these really cute clouds in them. And I cut out these little clouds for our sky. And this is a little bit of a different fold. So it folds out like this. So I'm going to fold that in half. And this card base is five and a half by eight and a half. And then I'm just going to take this front flap and fold it back on top of the, itself. And that gives us our little accordion fold. This is one of Jill's favorite fun folds to do. And you can do it either this direction or the hamburger direction. <laughs> Hot dog or hamburger. Give that a nice little score there. So then you have your little accordion fold there. Okay, we're going to attach our clouds. Now this one is a little bit big. I just glued half of it here and then half of it down on the bottom here. So we'll start with this side, glue that there and take my snips and just trim that off and use the other half on the bottom. And then we'll put our other two clouds on and then we have to add in some birds these cute little birds up in the sky. Okay, while I have my blue out, we'll stamp our sentiment floating by just to say hi. Perfect for a submarine or for a blimp up in the sky. Okay, now let's stamp our blimp. I have a little white scrap. We'll use Poppy Parade. The best thing about this cute little kids stamp camp that we did was they got to choose whichever colors they wanted and it was fun to watch how creative they wanted to be. So we'll get our punch out and punch our little, in this case, blimp and then do the same with our propeller and this is with peach pie and then we're also going to stamp our flag. Our flag isn't in the punch so we We'll just have to cut that one out by hand. Punch out our propeller. And I was surprised at how okay the kids were with cutting out their flags themselves. Usually when I'm teaching an adult class, they get really fussy about having to fussy cut something. I think that's why we call it fussy cut because the adults like to fuss about it. The kids are okay with it. <laughs> okay, we have all our pieces. Now we'll just put it together. Hear that down. Oh, we're covering up a bird. It'll have to sacrifice itself. We'll grab a few dimensionals, taking care only to put it on this one side so that it only sticks where I want it to stick. And then with glue dots, we'll add on our propeller, maybe, right there on the back, and our flag, just like that. So fun, floating by to say hi. It was such a fun class. The kids were able to do all the projects and had a ton of fun doing it. 
I loved stamping with the kids and this is a great stamp set for that. If you have any questions, make sure to comment below and if you're interested in purchasing these items, make sure to check the links in the description. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next week for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.